All right, guys, this is the pin wall. So I purchased these cork boards at a home store and I have used the color blocking on the cork boards to separate out my collections. This is not everything. I actually also have the mini heart cork boards that are currently on the floor with a ton of pins on top because I'm rearranging them. So if you're interested to see my entire pin collection, I will be filming those separately, but I'm actually going to take down these boards one by one and show you all of my pins. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start you down here. So I have the entire mystery box collection of the Animal Kingdom, Mickey and Friends gang with the different animals that you can find at the parks. So the first one has Daisy with the African crown crane. And then you have Mickey with an African elephant. The way you can tell the difference between the African and the Asian elephant is the African elephant's ears look like Africa, and the Asian elephant has small ears in relation to the size of their body. Then you have Mickey with the lion, Minnie with the um, cotton top tamarinds, Pluto and the dung beetle, Donald and the Galapagos tortoise, Minnie and the giraffes, Donald and the flamingos, Stitch with a Komodo dragon, and Stitch with the Mexican red kneed tarantula, Chip and Dale with the naked mole rat, Goofy with the Nile hippopotamus, Goofy with the bats, and Pluto with the Tigers, Jimmy Cricket with the Western Lowland Gorillas, Scrooge, that's not Scrooge, what is, what is his name? The professor, I think, I don't remember his exact title, uh, but he's with the Rhino. And then I have an Animal Kingdom pin that features Mickey, Minnie, Donald, and Goofy. So this is our mystery pin collection and now moving on to our up collection I have the 4th of July from 2015 featuring Carl and Ellie I also have the tails pin that has Ellie and Carl inside Carl and Ellie here Russell this is from the Disney Store UK I got that in a pin trade classic grape soda pin and then I have Russell from Disney Soda Fountain and a Doug Hidden Mickey pin. The last collection that's on this board is Lion King, specifically Scar, so this is my husband's collection. I have the Simba with Timon, Pumbaa, Scar, Rafiki, and Zazu Tsum Tsums and they collapse down and pull back up. It's a little tricky so there you go. There's also the Hidden Mickey paw prints featuring Scar, Timon, Pumbaa, and Rafiki. There is the Scar from the film mystery box collection. Scar and Simba. This one's really cool. I don't remember what this one was from, but I got it for Abel, I think for his birthday or Christmas. This was from Halloween a couple years ago. And this one is old. We got this in a trade a long time ago. This Bolo series is a cast member exclusive, so we got that when we were still cast members. Again, this one's a very old one. Same for here. These are ones I honestly think I purchased off of eBay or um, got in trades for my husband. This one's a pretty new collection. They had the perfume bottle series for villains like they had for princesses. So we got the one that featured Scar, of course. And then I think this one is from like a booster set. So that is everything for our Animal Kingdom and Lion King board. Now this board is clearly mine. <laughs> this one features my two favorite princesses, Belle and Rapunzel. Starting off with this one. This is the Shields collection that they came out with, I think, not last year, but the year before. This is a Reveal and Conceal mystery set that featured the princesses and their prints 
is with stained glass. Um, so I have the Beast. I don't have Belle from that collection. This one is a Disney Visa pin and they do move like they're dancing. This one is the new live action Beauty and the Beast so it has Emma Watson as Belle. I've got Cogsworth and Lumiere. These are from Hong Kong Disneyland. This one is really cool. It actually flips and Beast is on the other side. I do have Beast and Belle, part of that same collection that I had Scar and Simba. As you can see, she does have a flaw on her cheek that has darkened over time, which I'm kind of bummed about. This one is from Tokyo Disneyland. I love this one. This is the perfume collection. Another one from Hong Kong Disneyland. I have a couple princess ones like this that have the silhouette and little dangle charm. They're beautiful. And then I have the entire Tsum Tsum set. So Belle, Maurice, The Beast, Gaston, Mrs. Potts, LeFou, Chip, Lumiere, and then this bottle cap, um, Belle's Honey Lemon Brew, were some of the first ones that I got. Then moving on to Rapunzel. Let's see if I can make that a little clearer. Um, perfume collection. Hers is the best day ever. This is the Mickey, I think it's called the Adventure Collection. It was a mystery box set. This is Rapunzel's Hair Salon. It opens up to a glittery background. We take care of tangles. Beautiful 3D element. Rapunzel. This one is a macaroon. This one's from Disneyland Paris. Zoom Zoom Rapunzel. The Disney Dreams. This is from Disneyland Paris as well. Tokyo Disneyland. This one's from the Disney Soda Fountain when I went. I was so excited to see that one. Again, Hong Kong Disneyland. That silhouette and dangle with, of Pascal. Rapunzel and Flynn. This was part of the Alphabet Mystery Collection. This is an open edition. They have all of the princesses on their flags. Again, reveal and conceal mystery set that is sold out. I was able to get Rapunzel. I do not have Flynn. This one was part of the D series that came out and I got um, Tangled. This is Valentine's Day 2016. Another reveal and conceal mystery pin set that is sold out. This one I just got recently. This is for the Tangled show that is on the Disney Cruise Line. I actually haven't seen the show, but I had to get the pin. Rapunzel and Pascal. Another one of my favorites. I love the interactive pins. Again, from that same series, Mother Gothel and Rapunzel. There she is there. The best friends. And then look at the Pascal. So this one is clearly uh, my collection there, but I've got to have my two favorite princesses on display. The third board is our holiday board. So I have Halloween and Christmas are the pins that I collect. These two are from Tokyo Disneyland. I've got an Ursula from 2015. This was also from 2015 and I like this one because the water behind her does spin to reveal different items. These ones were from Mickey's Not So Scary this past year. We've got Ariel and Flotsam and Jetsam on the inside of Ursula's Cauldron. Oh my gosh, she ripped off the cork. The cork. Um, and then Pain and Panic and Hercules on the inside of um, Hades' Cauldron. Halloween Party 2017. This was from the mystery set from that same year. The This one is a chaser. It features Huey, Dewey, Louie. Donald was a regular. Ursula is my mom's favorite villain, so she's one that I love to look for. Here is from that same letter collection that I have Rapunzel and Flynn of. And then we have Scar from this collection as well, that villain set. And then this Sebastian pin is actually one of the oldest pins I own. I'll actually start you guys up here because I did it by date. Um, this is from the holidays of 2014. This is the year that we moved here. And the stockings pull down to reveal the characters, so there's many. And then I have a 2015 of Rapunzel. 
and a snowflake collection of bell. This was a hidden pin set as well. Very Merry Christmas Party, I got Belle. The annual pass holder exclusive gingerbread Mickey and Minnie. And Frozen. Pretty popular. This one is also from 2015 and features Anna and Elsa. I don't particularly collect them, but I do like them in the winter time. They're very festive. These were from the Disney store this year. I got Mickey and Minnie. I believe there's Pluto in that collection, but I did not snag him. This is a mystery box set from Disneyland that features small world dolls, so um, holidays from around the world. And then I have the Christmas pajama set. I don't have all of these either. I do have many Pluto, Goofy, Scrooge, Clarabelle, and Chip. I think I'm missing Mickey, Dale, and Donald are the only three. Um, but those are my holiday pins specifically Halloween and Christmas. The last pins we collect, um, this one's Abel's collection. He collects Woody. Woody is his favorite Disney character. So we've got the Woody Mickey figure from that mystery collection. Um, a lot of mystery pack pins. This one I think is from an open edition pin set. It comes with Bullseye, I believe. This one opens up to say Toy Story. This one was from the Disney store along with this one several years ago. This was also a mystery pin set that features the Disney horses. We only wanted Bullseye. It was a reveal and conceal set, so we bought Bullseye. He was the reveal. The conceal was the unicorn from Inside Out, and he ended up being a traitor. This one, Woody's Roundup Lunchbox, we got from Disney Pins, Everything Disney Pins, um, their website. I believe I got that one from him from that same website as well. And then this one is the D Disney Visa exclusive pin for this year. The last thing that we collect are specific events. Um, so 2015 is the year that my husband and I got married. So I have a couple 2015 pins, um, the 2015 Mickey and Minnie and then the 2015 Valentine's Day pin. I do have a Disney Dream pin because we went on the Disney Dream on our honeymoon. St. Patrick's Day 2016. I did just get him because I love Pascal. Um, this one I got June of this year because that's when we became DVC members. I have the El Capitan theater pin because I went this past summer. We have a Coco pin when we saw that in theaters. The 2018 pin. And then this is Figment Festival of the Arts. And that is all for my special events and Woody collection. So again, here's another look of how the pins are displayed on the boards on our wall. Um, just to give you a perspective, this is my husband's nightstand in our room, which is horribly messy. And this is our bed, which the sheets are currently being washed. Um, so that's kind of where it is in relation to the, you know, the layout of our bedroom. I really love it. I love how it takes up such a good portion of the wall and it really displays you know, our loves of Disney pins and specific Disney characters and events and things like that. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.